Hi, this is Eva Cartman, host of the Dream Big Podcast Show, the place to go to learn, laugh, and grow. Wow, today marks the 300th episode of the Dream Big Podcast. That number honestly doesn't even feel real. But today, I'd like to share what it means to make it to 300, share some future plans for the podcast, and talk about the miracle of grace, which I have experienced firsthand. You know what time it is. This is episode 300 of the Dream Big Podcast, and it's time to dream big. My name is Eva Cartman. I'm part of a squad of super kids that are here to change the world. We don't believe you need to be adults to have big goals and start working towards your dreams. We believe age is just a number and you're never too young to make a difference. We may be young, but we are not naive. We understand that achieving our big dreams will not be easy. It will take incredible dedication, hard work, and yes, massive action. There'll be ups and downs, but we embrace the challenges and relish pushing outside of our comfort zone because this is how we grow. They may not teach us these concepts in our school textbooks, but we are smart enough to know that the tools and tactics to achieve our big dreams are out there. And we are willing to do the work to seek out these skills and master them because we know that our future depends on it. We are the big dreamers, and it's time to dream big. Before we dive into this week's episode, here's Silly Sophia to make us all laugh. What do you call a duck that gets all A's? A wisecracker! (laughs) What do sprinters eat before a race? Nothing. (laughs) Thank you, Sophia. Okay, so here we are, 300 episodes into the Dream Big podcast. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me. Each episode represents so much. There's the preparation, recording, editing, and publishing. It's hard to believe that when we started Dream Big, I was just seven years old. And here we are five plus years later. They say that big dreams don't happen overnight, and this show is definitely proof that you need to put in consistent effort over a long period of time. I've learned so much from publishing 300 episodes. When we started the podcast, I was so shy I wouldn't even order my own food at a restaurant. If you listen to my earlier episodes, you can probably sense how shy I was in my voice, and I've gained so much confidence over the years. So much so that I recently started a second podcast called Lovely Homestead, all on my own. There's no way I could have done that if it weren't for my experience here on Dream Big. I've picked up so many skills over the past five years, from how to invite guests to a podcast, to preparing interview questions, to publishing solo episodes like this one. All these skills were necessary to learn in order to launch my own podcast without my parents' involvement. I have some very exciting news to share with you today, and then I'm going to tell a short story about an experience that I had just last week. First, the exciting news. You're going to start hearing more from my little sister, Sophia, in the coming weeks. She's turning seven in June, which is the age that I was when I launched Dream Big. And she's eager to become a podcaster herself. I know she's been making all of you laugh for many years now with silly Sophia. But soon she will be sharing more about her life and journey. I'll continue to be involved with Dream Big, and I'm sure I'll be publishing episodes of my own, too, and joining Sophia on the podcast. But I wanted to give you all this exciting news that you'll be hearing from her more as well. She's a bundle of energy, joy, and very funny, and I'm sure you'll love getting to know her. We thought that crossing 300 episodes was a great milestone to introduce her to you all. So get ready to hear more from Sophia on the Dream Big podcast. Okay. So let me share a quick story about grace. It has many different definitions, but I heard it described once as little miracles we experience that are unearned. So grace is not something that's a reward for good behavior. It's just naturally presents itself to you for no reason at all. My dad and I experienced this on a hike this past week on the north shore of Oahu, which is where we're living for the month of April. 
We were hiking the Ha'u'u'la Loop Trail, which is a mesmerizing two-hour trail. Each section of the hike features different foliage, including lush tropical trees, pine needle groves, and more. When you get to the top, you're rewarded with an incredible view of the canyon and the ocean. This entire canyon is completely covered in greenery. It looks like one of those moss walls you see in fancy hotels. But instead of a small artwork, it's a majestic canyon. Anyways, we were sweating profusely on the hike, especially as we got towards the top, and we are talking about how nice it would be if it rained to cool us down. And minutes later, we found ourselves in a downpour. I'm talking about some of the most intense rain I've ever been in, and it never felt so good to be soaking wet. This was grace. We didn't do anything to earn that rainstorm. Everyone else who was on the hiking trail, whether they have been kind or mean to their loved ones, got the same downpour experience that we did. When you experience moments of grace like this in your life, take a moment to be grateful for the experience. I also believe that good things happen to good people, but sometimes they just happen. And when they do, that's grace. What a gift. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that quick story and wanted to thank you again for being part of this journey of 300 episodes of Dream Big. It has been so incredible and I cannot wait for you all to meet my sister Sophia in the coming episodes. You are going to love her. But that's all for episode 300. This is Eva Cartman reminding you that you have unlimited potential. Your dreams are not optional. You need to make them essential. So take massive action to turn those big dreams into reality. Live with passion the way life was meant to be. Bye.